A transplant patient in New York contracted HIV after having a new kidney from a living donor. The CDC discovered the donor had unprotected sex within the 11-week span between testing HIV negative and the time of the surgery in 2009. The recipient's HIV developed into AIDS most likely because the patient was taking drugs to suppress the immune system in order to avoid organ rejection. This is the first case of its kind in the United States. A fourth grader at D.C. Strong John Elementary School was charged with possession of a substance after sharing cocaine with his classmates. Fred Lewis, D.C. School Assistant Press Secretary, says four students ingested the cocaine by eating it. The students were transported to a hospital as a safety precaution. Police are continuing the investigation and determining how to proceed with the charges due to the student's age. AT&T will soon be America's largest network after agreeing to buy T-Mobile for $39 billion. AT&T says the buyout will allow it to expand its 4G coverage to 95% of the U.S. population. AT&T says high-speed mobile broadband coverage will improve in quality, but it could cause trouble for smaller competitors like Sprint. The AU campus store is undergoing renovations to its, to its registers, clothing, and book pickup sections. The store plans to make general upgrades as part of their contract with eFollet, and the renovation is being completely financed by the company. The plan also includes creating a permanent space for web orders and moving registers so customers can move throughout the store more easily. It has not been determined when the re renovations will be done. On the American University campus, using credit cards may become a thing of the past. Two popular cafes on campus are no longer taking plastic. Some students aren't happy about this. Stephanie Goldberg has more. The Mudbox Cafe, located at the AE Library, is no longer accepting credit cards. Customers must now pay with Eagle Bucks or cash. Owner Tom Guerra says this is being done to keep prices low. Some students feel this will hurt the sales and profits for the Mudbox. Knowing that AU students all have used the credit cards, especially from uh, what was formerly Chevy Chase, that was Capital One, um, it's going to be difficult for people to, to buy from the Mudbox. I think Mudbox will be losing more money than um, it actually intended. Other students understand the reason for the change. It seems more feasible for them to actually make you pay in cash because a lot of people do pay in cash and they move through more quickly. So, I mean, it kind of sucks, but there's an ATM in the building. The Ward Cafe inside of Ward Building is also no longer accepting credit cards. Signs are posted everywhere as a continuous reminder to all customers. Ward Cafe still accepts Eagle Bucks. This is being done as a trial run to gauge reactions for whether or not profits will be affected. If successful, owner Guerra says he will also expand the system to Megabytes and Cats and Cafe. I'm Stephanie Goldberg for District Wire News. Two American University students who are running for student government president are being banned for campaigning by AU Board of Elections. Tim McBride and Jessica Darmahan have been placed on a 24-hour and 8-hour ban after violation of election regulations. The Board of Elections says McBride got an endorsement on Facebook that didn't follow election guidelines. Darmahan had sidewalk chalk advertisements that were too big. Coming up after the break, American University students are putting a new spin on Shakespeare. More on their modernized production after the break. Stay with us.